Hi dear students today we are going to learn prose lesson from your fifth standard english book term 1 unit 1 prose earth the desolated home children i think you have learned about universe in your science or social subjects in order to learn the lesson well we need to have an understanding about our solar system the blue planet earth and the red planet mars okay what is solar system in simple words the solar system consists of the sun and everything that orbits or travels around the sun this includes the eight planets and their moons dwarf planets countless asteroids comets and other small icy objects let us say the names of eight planets now 1 mercury 2 venus 3 earth 4 mars 5 jupiter 6 saturn 7 uranus and 8 neptune among all these planets earth is the only planet that supports life we all know this already isn't it let's know about earth now earth is the third planet from the sun and is the fifth largest in the solar system it has only one moon it is the only planet loaded with free oxygen oceans of water that is 71 percentage of water on its surface and of course several million species of life moving on to greenhouse effect what is it actually water vapor carbon dioxide and other gases in the atmosphere trap or get heat from the sun and warm the earth without this greenhouse effect the earth would be too cold for life to exist hence earth is the only planet in universe to possess life dear children we first have learned about the solar system and about the earth now let us learn about mars the planet mars is also called as red planet it is the fourth planet from the sun and it is oval in shape it has two moons moving to its temperature it has cold thin atmosphere mars is much colder than earth the temperature changes time to time as the tilt of its rotation its average temperature is minus 60 degree celsius the amount of oxygen depends on the temperature and pressure it has 95 percentage of carbon dioxide and it has no free oxygen mars is known for iron rich minerals loose dust and rocks cover its surface This red planet has highest mountain, deepest, longest valley and largest volcanoes in the solar system. Many regions of Mars are flat, low-lying plains. Children, why Mars is an habitable planet? After the Earth, Mars is the only habitable planet in our solar system due to several reasons. Number 1, its soil contains water to extract. Number 2, it is not too cold or too hot. Number 3, there is enough sunlight to use solar panels. Number 4, gravity on Mars is 38% like on earth number 5 it has an atmosphere that offers protection from cosmic and the sun's radiation number 6 the day 
night rhythm is very similar to our planet earth but humans cannot live on mars without the help of technology dear students i think now we know about solar system the blue planet earth and the red planet mars now shall we start our lesson unit 1 earth the desolated home children let's learn few more meanings apart from the ones given in your textbook to help us learn the lesson easier and better celebrate rejoice crops cultivated plants destroyed ruined or spoiled eagerly excitedly fertile productive harvest reap offered provided polluted contaminated storm tempest surprised amazed travel to go from place to place desolated empty or barren students this lesson is written with the imagination or with the view if earth becomes an inhabitable planet where and how would people live let's go with the conversation between grandpa and arivumadi on the planet mars in the year 2068 humans destroyed or spoiled the earth by polluting air by emitting gases or smoke from factories water by mixing city sewage chemical waste or industrial waste discharge and soil by over use of fertilizers and chemicals so in 2068 humans started living on or colonizing the red planet mars india created or established three colonies in one such colony there lived a girl named arivumadi with her family her grandfather traveled more than 1500 kilometers to visit arivumadi on her birthday when he reached she was sleeping in her capsule capsule means cylindrical bed that they use in mars for sleeping arivumadi was surprised to see her grandpa because she never thought that he would come for her birthday then grandpa spoke about the dust storm of mars the dust storms on mars are the largest in the solar system and it even lasts or remain for months covering the entire planet that's because mars does not have magnetic field to protect it from the solar wind then he told that he traveled for 3 martian days or sols to reach there that is 24 hours 39 minutes and 35 seconds make a day in mars then they went to harvest or collect the vegetables from the vegetation hab vegetation hab means place where vegetables are grown in mars there in the hab grandpa remembered his childhood days eating tasty fruits and vegetables grown on earth because grandpa lived on earth he compared or told that the carrots on mars are not tasty anymore and he wished arivumadi had tasted the carrots from the earth here he seemed to be so sad because he missed the planet earth he narrated that the earth had fertile or productive soil so the vegetables and fruits grown from the soil were healthy and tasty these vegetables fruits and water on mars are not same as in the earth 
and they are not real because in mars they get water from burning of fuels but on earth we get water from rain it's natural and free arivumali stop grandpa's story about the earth saying that yes grandpa i come to know from your story from your narration that life on the earth was easy but survival or life on mars is very difficult space suits or oxygen cylinders are needed on mars but they are not needed on earth in mars the years are longer that is 687 days make a year and grandpa said arivumadi would have been 18 years on earth now grandpa felt bad that we humans destroyed our natural home the earth and trying to make or adopt mars as home then arivumadi consoled grandpa saying that not to worry because scientists are trying to terraform the mars children terraform means a process by which the surface and climate would be changed to make the environment suitable to humans but grandpa entered his talk saying that nothing can be the earth because all the life supporting materials or elements on earth are free very natural and fresh so dear children i hope you have understood very well from the lesson that the earth provides all the life supporting elements freely so it is our duty to preserve them and use them rightly without wasting spoiling or polluting as children let us take a promise today not to harm or disturb other species like animals birds and other living beings on earth and promise not only stop cutting trees but also to grow more and more plants hence earth is the natural and sweet home dear students study well happy learning thank you